world-class athletes in every sport use and endorse LifeWave technology as a means of achieving peak performance without the use of drugs or stimulants. Health advocates like Suzanne Summers and everyday people from all walks of life have found LifeWave vital to enjoying improved energy, better sleep, reduced pain, and more youthful vibrancy. So one day, I'm sitting in my home office uh, in uh, Atlanta, Georgia, and uh, I get a call and the voice at the other end of the phone says, uh, David, this is Richard Quick. And uh, then he tells me that he's been using uh, the LifeWave patches uh, in conjunction with Dr. Merritt. And uh, he found that uh, during the first three weeks of using the patches with his athletes, that uh, six out of the eight swimmers broke their personal lifetime best in uh, their event. So this was absolutely huge. This was one of the breaks that I had been looking for. That which seems extraordinary today will be commonplace in the future. If something can be done in 20 or 30 years in the future, why can't we do it today? That's what David Schmidt has done with LifeWave. We got an opportunity to have our product on uh, Olympic athletes. Uh, we got to have world exposure of the technology uh, by having the athletes uh, compete in the Olympic Games and in the Olympic Trials. And uh, I am very grateful to Coach Quick for that opportunity. At the Olympic Trials in 2004, a scandal erupted. The Stanford swimmers were doing so well that some of the other coaches accused them of using performance-enhancing drugs in the patches. I met before the U.S. Olympic Committee and had to explain uh, how the patches worked. They took the patches down to UCLA Microanalytical Lab, had the patches examined, and uh, found out there weren't any drugs in them. Uh, the athletes drug tested negative, uh, so they were completely clean. And we started to make national headlines because people wanted to know what were these patches and uh, why were the Stanford women's swim team using them and doing so well with them. This is a product that will really help people. It'll help people have more energy. It'll help them focus better so they can be more successful in whatever their endeavors are. Having clinical studies is uh, a matter of ethics. Uh, you have to know what effects your products are gonna have on people before they actually use them. And it's a legal requirement. The government wants to see clinical studies, scientific proof that substantiate your claims. We look for independent researchers, we look for universities that can study our technology. We're, 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 we're driven to prove the benefits of this technology uh, as well as to show how this technology can be used to help the health of people around the world. National conference featuring 40 speakers, professional and Olympic athletes talked about using LifeWave patches to become the best in the world. Other presenters included medical doctors, acupuncturists, naturopaths, scientists, even world-famous biophysicist Beverly Rubick, also known as the mother of energy medicine. I'm a biophysicist. I've traveled the world looking for maverick wellness products that make a difference in people's lives. And it came to my attention that there was this LifeWave Energy Patch. The first thing I wanted to do as a biophysicist was to test them on the human energy field. And that is the state of the art now in biophysics, that this field is considered to be the bottom line regulator of our processes. Here's an example of the data. The red indicates points that were tested that are really unbalanced. The yellow are points that are tolerable within normal, but not quite normal. And the green, of course, are the most normal. Some five meridians are grossly unbalanced. And after wearing the LifeWave patches, only one point is unbalanced. That's an impressive result, especially after immediately placing on the patches. There is an immediate autonomic nervous system response within five minutes. This is what happens when we apply the patches. As you see, there's a pretty hot looking back to the left, and there's a patch distinctly sitting right in the middle of that spine. It has a cooling effect on the, on the autonomic nervous system. Statistically speaking there, we can prove uh, that energy production is enhanced fairly dramatically uh, by these patches. I've been doing this kind of testing now for almost eight years, and I can tell you, you don't see these kind of results. We tested the LifeWay product and we found 
that it made a significant change within 10 seconds in the cytoskeleton. And let me tell you, that is profound. There are a lot of products out there, folks, but there are very few companies who support their products with quality science. So in the very beginning, uh, we were working with uh, Troy State, Troy University, uh, with their football team, Morehouse College. And uh, we were doing some investigational studies to look at how would the patches work on football players. And that had some beneficial outcomes. That was kind of one of the beginnings of uh, working with athletes. Uh, later on, I was invited to Real Madrid because we had David Beckham using energy enhancer. There was a uh, picture that appeared in a newspaper where he took off his shirt during training and the energy patches were up on his chest. So uh, the head medical doctor at Real Madrid invited me to fly over there and uh, meet with the staff about how they could use the patches. Uh, we've had Manny Pacquiao in the past use the energy patches. Uh, you know, a number of famous athletes like this, Phil Pfister, uh, he was he won world's strongest man contest and he got so excited he ripped off his shirt and there were the energy patches <laughs> up up on his chest so we've had a number of really you know fun things like that ronnie coleman uh, luckily you've, you've had a lot of really ripped people that are like keen to take their shirts off and show that they have the patches on wear them uh, apparently apparently you know the the, the first thing that i'm going to say just to uh clarify this is that I have the utmost of respect for what these athletes do 